Hello everyone, today I am going to do my review of Anna and the French Kiss. Oh, I finished this book yesterday, and I was going to review it yesterday, but then... I didn't. So, I'm going to review it today. Right now. First of all, let's start off with some non spoilery stuff, because if you just want to know what this book is about... Um... Yeah... So, it's about a girl who sent to um, a French boarding school for her senior year. And there she meets this boy called Etienne St. Clair, if I pronounce that right. And she starts falling for him, basically, but he's taken because he has a girlfriend. And it's just a really nice love story and contemporary read. I really enjoyed it, and I'm so excited to read um, Lola and the Boy Next Door and Isa Isla. Whatever you say, however you say her name, and the happy ever after. So, before I get into spoilers, um, my review, or my rating of the book, I would give it, I think, I gave it a five stars on Goodreads, which I give a lot of books five stars. So, five stars, really good, Ugh, amazing. I wish there was more to the story than the 375 pages. It is so amazing. And I heard that. Yeah, I'm not going to say anything. Um, so now I'm going to get into the spoiler part. There should be some word on here. This is spoiler somewhere. I don't know where I'm going to put it after I edit it. But so beware if you have not read this book and, or if you just want a summary or whatever of it, whatever. But so, okay. So it starts off and Anna goes to this French boarding school and she's like, I don't want to be here. I want to be back home and in Florida with um, Bridge and what's his name? Toph. She wants to be back in Florida with Toph and Bridge and all that going on. She does not want to be in France even though it's Paris. She just doesn't really want to be there. If I were in her shoes, I'd be like, well, I'd probably be a lot like her. Hate it at first and then love it in the end because I don't know what I would have done if I had to move away from my senior year. Like, I would have died. If I had a great senior year. Um, okay. I love this book. Well, one of the reasons I lo really loved it was because I took French for three years in high school. And a lot of, well, most of the words in here, they would say the French word. And before they even put the translation in, I knew what it meant. So that was a really cool thing for me in this book. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, so Anna, she's crying at the very beginning of the book because she doesn't want to be there. And then a friend named something that I can't remember for some odd reason. Mare, Meredith. She meets Meredith. And then she gets in with Meredith's, Meredith's crowd with um, Josh and Rush, Rushmi and obviously St. Clair. Um... So I just love that group of people because they're all like kind of funny. And then Josh and Rashmi keep fighting all the time. And it's, yeah. But I feel really bad for, um, about Mare because you can obviously tell us at the very beginning, and Anna even says it, that she loves, um, she's in love with, um, or at least has feelings for St. Clair already. But um, obviously Anna says, I'm not going to fall for her. I'm not, I'm not going to do that to my new friend. And then she does. But, you know. Yeah, so I, I already feel bad for her, but that doesn't mean I don't ship Anna and St. Clair any less. Um, I just thought this whole book was a roller coaster of feels. And yeah, and I didn't like her, his girlfriend. She was like possessive. I, don't, I can't even remember her name. I didn't like her so much. I'm having a real name spaz today. I'm sorry. Um... I don't know. I didn't tab this. I, I put one tab here because I was going to tab it. And then I was like, just, I was like, just screw, I was like, screw it. I'm just going to read. And let's see what I tagged. Oh, she names her hamster Captain Jack. And I, I'm just going to say that's a reference to Jack Hartness from Doctor Who. I'm not sure if it is, but you know, he's Captain Jack Hartness. So I'm going with it. I just really love the love story in this book. Um, 
from the moment they Anna and St. Clair went to the star and they started falling in love. It was really amazing. And then later on in the and then everything that happens, I was freaking out during the um, Thanksgiving break when they're the only two people at campus and um, and they spend like every single day together, all day, every day together. It's just amazing. And they sleep in the same bed. They don't, yeah, they don't, they don't sleep together, but they sleep together. And, um, I just love that scene. And it really felt like they were getting really close, which they were. And then of course everything changed. And then, yeah. And then she goes home for Christmas break and she learns Toph is a douche. And she gets really mad at Bridge, which I I got mad at Bridge, too. Because, I mean, I want her to be with St. Clair, but at the same point, Toph shouldn't have been such a douche to her to do that. And Bridge should not have um, lied to her. Like, you don't do that. That's like breaking the girl code or something. Um, and so, yeah, and then she talks with... Sinclair every single day on the phone and I'm like oh and I love the chapter I don't know what chapter oh it was chapter 28 it was all their emails it was all their emails to each other I love that chapter because I love some of the subjects are you awake yet um uncommon prostitutes save me saving you are you mad? <laughs> I don't know. I just really love that chapter. I don't know what it is about, like, texts and emails. I just, like, like it. Because, yeah. And then, before Christmas break, though, they get put on the same plane together and sit, like, right next to each other. And that had a whole, had the statistical probability of falling in love for sight feel to me because, Yeah. But that was amazing. I really wish um, that she would have expanded on what happened on the plane. Like, I wish they had more conversations together or something, but that's just me. Um, well, and then, of course, everything changes once again when they get back, and it's stupid. And then, after a while, guess what happens? They kiss, and the mayor, and rush me, and Josh see, and they're like, oh my god! And they're freaking out, and then... Anna doesn't have, like, any friends, and Mayor hates her, and she's not with, she's not close with Sinclair anymore, and it's horrible, and it was breaking my feels. It was breaking my feels. Like, I was dying. I'm like, no, you need my love together. And then, um... And I knew that when Mare had said that after St. Clair, okay, so when they kissed, Saint, when Mare saw like, how could you or whatever, um, St. Clair ran off, ran off after Mare. So I knew, like, and then Mare told Anna he went to see his girlfriend right after, and I knew he was breaking up with her, like, really. But Anna didn't. And I'm like, Anna, he's break he was breaking up with her for kids. And I was so mad. And then he wanted to talk to her that night. Or whatever. Or maybe not that night. He wanted to talk to her. And she got so mad at him because he was going to tell her I broke up with her. And she didn't, she didn't know. And then they're fighting that one time. And he's like, I broke up with her. And they go. And then, long story short again, they get together. They're like, I love you so much. I love you too. And then get together. And it's amazing and lovely. And I, it was amazing. They were only together for like a chapter after that. And then I was like, I want more Anna and Etienne St. Clair. Am I saying his name right? I really love the name though. Like, I don't know why. I have a fascination with French guy names. Like Etienne. It's really pretty. I wish... But everybody called St. Clair Etienne. It would have been awesome. I love that Anna called him Etienne. I mean, I took French for three years, so I feel like I'm butchering that name. I'm sorry. Etienne? Etienne? Etienne. I'm calling it Etienne. It's awesome. And 
So, obviously, Anna and, Sin and Etienne Sinclair, they're going to go to school. Well, Anna's going to school in San Francisco, and Etienne is going to, um, Sam going to Berkeley. So they're going to be close to each other. And I know the next one happens in San... I know Lola and the Boy Next Door happens in San Francisco because, you know, see the bridge? See the bridge? Yeah. So I kind of hope they're in it somehow. Like maybe they're friends with Lola or they know Lola or they're family friends or something. I don't know. But I hope there's some interaction because I know they're not... I know they're not... It's, I know it's not an exact sequel. It's just like connected. But it happens in the same town. So it has to be connected somehow. And then I heard in Ilsa, it's not Ilsa, Isla, I, is it Isla? I, think called, I don't even know. In the, in the Happy Ever After, I heard that there's a scene with all the past characters come in, and I'm like, oh my god. And oh my god, I, I completely caught all the moments when Isa came in and Anna and the French kiss. I'm like, oh, her and Josh are meant to be already. I'm, I already shipped them, and I'm like, two book, and I'm, and I'm book behind. I'm like, two books behind, so... Ugh, I need the rest of the series. Yeah. Um, once again, five stars. Amazing read. Um, if you haven't read this, I don't know why you're at the end of this video unless you just fast forward through everything. But, amazing. I loved it. Uh, okay. So, if you liked my review of this video, please like it. And if you want to talk about Anna and the French Kiss, or tell me why I need to freaking read the rest of the series right now, um, comment below. And if you really liked it, please subscribe to me. And yeah, I don't know what video I'm posting next. So, there's that. So yeah, um, anyway, this has been my review of Anne and the French Kiss, and goodbye!